today I'm going to talk about the uh, upcoming game releases that I'm really excited about and I think you're gonna like them too. Um, well, at least I hope so, otherwise this video is a bit pointless, maybe. Um, but yeah, um, some of them don't even have a release date yet. Um, but I'm gonna start with the ones that are gonna be released this November, so uh, pretty soon. So first up is Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Um, I'm excited about this one because um, I yeah I really like uh, historical RPGs, open world RPGs, and this is one. It is um, uh, set in uh, United Kingdom before it was a United Kingdom. Um, it's a Viking story. Um, you are gonna be one of the Vikings, um, and yeah, it's uh, it looks really cool to me. It looks really fun to me. But I think the quality of animation it could be a bit higher, uh, I guess. But you know, it, open world Viking sagas. I don't really mind. I would. Um, there's like almost no way I'm not gonna like this. I think. Um, but speaking a bit more objectively, um, I'm not sure yet if it's gonna be a great game or mediocre. Um, the landscape reminds me a lot of The Witcher, to be honest. Um, I think maybe not as uh, beautiful, but um, we'll see. So Cyberpunk, uh, Cyberpunk 2077. Um, well, obviously I'm hyped about this one. Um, I uh, yeah I I think it's going to be pretty amazing. Um, of course, as with all gaming hypes, it might be a disappointment. Um, but we have gotten so much information about this game already. I've seen so many like gameplay uh, trailers, and you know they've given out so much uh, information about the gangs and stuff um, that you're gonna see about the character creation as well. Um, yeah, I've seen all these views of Night City, it looks really beautiful, um, really alive as well. I think I'm gonna love it and um, yeah, I, I, I have really high hopes for this one and I'm not really afraid that it's gonna be a disappointment. Um, I'm just really excited about it and I'm normally actually more into fantasy but um, uh, so a more futuristic game has to be really exciting for me to be really excited about it but this one um, I mean how can you not like this <laughs> so Hyrule Warriors uh, Age of Calamity is uh, next it's going to be released on November 20 I think I'm pretty sure it's 20 um, yeah I think um, this is going going to be a fun game. Um, I really loved Breath of the Wild, and this is going to be some kind of hybrid bet uh, between Legend of Zelda and uh, Hyrule Warriors. So in gameplay, it's going to be Hyrule Warriors. So it's very uh, hack and slash with uh, lots of enemies coming at you at once. Um, but in story uh, story wise, it's going to be Legend of Zelda. So it's going to be a prequel to what happened in the Breath of the Wild. And um, yeah, I'm really excited about that. Of course, we know a little bit about what happened um, because of the flashbacks that were in Breath of the Wild. But um, there are so many details, uh, so many things about all the battles that happened that we haven't seen yet. Uh, so I'm re uh, mostly really excited for the story, to be honest. I just want to know more about the story. Um, but I also, uh, it's like pretty certain that you're gonna be able to play as Link, as Zelda, and all four champions that were introduced in Breath of the Wild. Um, so that's also gonna be really fun, I think, to not just play as Link, but have this choice and maybe um, be able to uh, swap between uh, different characters a lot. Um, yeah, and I think it looks really good. Uh, same style as Breath of the Wild, of course. Uh, very beautiful. Um, yeah, I think it's going to be a pretty fun game. Even though I'm not really a hack and slash fan, but you know, it doesn't matter. So next up, um, without a release date yet, but probably going to be released in the first quarter of 2021, is Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines 2. Um, so yeah, um, I've been raging about this one 
because I um, I wasn't really a fan of Brian with Soda being fired. I made a video about that. Um, I kind of um, don't understand why it happened and felt like it was unfair, but I'm go not going to talk about that again. Um, I'm still excited about the game itself. Um, I think the first one was really good and um, yeah, this is of course going to be uh, a far more uh, updated version. It's going to look uh, better because it's newer, so it makes sense. Um, and yeah, I, I really hope it's going to have the same uh, same freedom to uh, play the game the way you want to. Uh, like if you want to like, seduce everyone or uh, be super violent, you have all those choices in the first one. And that's um, that's what makes, uh, makes it such a great RPG. Um, so I hope this one is going to have the same stuff. Um, yeah, and story-wise, I hope Mitsuda was able to um, really make his mark, um, really uh, create uh, something good that is still there, even without um, with all the drama that happened. Um, I hope it's still going to be uh, great story-wise. Um, but yeah, we'll have to see. Um, but I'm looking forward to it. So next one is Diablo 4. Um, I am hoping that this one is going to be really good, but um, yeah, I've only played Diablo 3, so I don't really consider myself an expert on the franchise or anything. Um, but I think the trailer looks really nice. Um, Story-wise, I would like it if it was a bit more interesting, it had a bit more depth than uh, Diablo 3. Um, because um, I really enjoyed the gameplay in uh, the third one, but um, story-wise, you know, as often with the dungeon crawlers, it doesn't always captivate me and Diablo 3 didn't really do that for me, but I still think it was a really great game. Um, so if this one, for me personally, wants to be um, um, really great, then the story should be a bit more interesting, I guess. Um, other than that, um, yeah, I would like to see how it's gonna turn out. Next up, Elder Scrolls 6. Um, sometimes I really do feel like this is all a joke, like a hoax, and we're never gonna get Elder Scrolls 6. But, you know, we have the trailer right here, and uh, let's hope for the best. Um, but seriously, um, this could be really, really great. Um, as so many others out there, I have a very, very deep love for Skyrim. So the announcement of... Uh, oh, right, let's just play that again. <laughs> it's very short, this trailer. Um, what was I saying? I think I was saying that I really loved Skyrim and that I'm really looking forward to this game, which I still am, but you know, it may be a, another million years before it is uh, released. And uh, yeah. And on to the next one, uh, Hogwarts Legacy. And uh, now this is something <laughs> that I am really excited about. So um, all my youth, I have dreamed about the Hogwarts open world game. Like, there have been Harry Potter games, I know, but like a, a really big, well-developed open world RPG in which you can make your own character um, and just roam around uh, the wizarding world like as much as you want. Um, that is something <laughs> that I'm really, really, really hyped for. Um, and this game might just deliver it, so um, I am excited, um, that's safe to say, I'm really excited. And if I look at this, um, I see the hallways, I see students walking through Hogwarts, um, you don't want to know how my heart is beating right now. Um, yeah, I... I know many people are really hyped about this, many Potterheads are. Um, I've also seen some people who were like, um, were bringing up the JK Rowling uh, recent controversies. Um, but I, yeah, I'm not gonna go into that in this video because I just want to focus on the game right now. And I think the game looks 
Uh, the trailer looks really amazing. I'm uh, not really sure how good it's gonna be, of course. Uh, we don't know enough to, to say. Um, but just the idea of walking around in the Wizarding World, um, that's really excited. And this is also gonna take place in the late uh, 1800s. Um, which is a time period that I really really love because I'm <laughs> big time into period dramas and especially those set in that area um, So that is also uh, uh, Really great for me personally um, Yeah, I I really hope this is going to be a great game <laughs> This is uh, this is what uh, ten-year-old me dreamed about every night Oh my god, look at that. Hogwarts. Now here's a little bonus that I thought I would be excited about when I first heard about it, but then I watched this. Um, and uh, I, I'm, not, I'm not hyped about this game, but I wanted to show this anyway. Because um, I'm also kind of curious though, not hyped, um, don't have high expectations at all, but I am curious. Look at this, this is Lord of the Rings uh, Gollum. Um, and uh, yeah, as you can see, no not here, but here, here, look at him here. Looks a bit funny to me, it doesn't look very serious. Um, it's supposed to be a stealth game. It looks like the Disney version of uh, Lord of the Rings or something. It's it. This is giving me um, really weird vibes. Um, the way he he looks like um, yeah, so so animated, so so weird. Um, <laughs> can't put it into words. So again, I'm not excited about this one, but I just wanted to show you. Maybe you are excited about it, but uh, uh, it looks a bit uh, ridiculous. But, you know, maybe it's the greatest game ever made. We can't judge just by this uh, short teaser. So those are all the upcoming games that I am currently uh, really excited about. Um, yeah, so um, let me know your thoughts in the comments and if you like this video, leave a like. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, that's it. Bye.